Okay, so I know it's been literally a year with the clock, no movement. I've been super busy. I keep saying that every time I post, but uh, just got a slightly different video here. Um, not posted about amateur radio for a long, 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 long time. Um, and I'm just going to make myself a DX Commander antenna. So uh, Callum's posted loads of information on his YouTube channel. If you just Google DX Commander, um, he sells these commercially um, as a hobby, I think. Uh, and we're going to uh, build one here just because I've got obviously part of the hobby is uh, making things and I've got a tidy little workshop to uh, try and build my own. So I've got a pole, fishing pole. This is uh, really cheap off. Uh, I got it off uh, Facebook and it cost me about £12, something like that, um, maybe £15. And I've got some aluminium plates. I've actually got quite a bit of aluminium sheet um, that would have done the job. But again, looking on eBay, I found these very cheap, about £4, 4 mil aluminium, cut into a disc already, saves a lot of work. Um, and I've also got some plastic ready as well for the spaces. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is cut the uh, centre of the disc, turn it down on the lathe so it just slips over this uh, screw cap. So this is the uh, screw cap off the bottom. So we'll unscrew the cap. And then the idea being that that will slip on and then you'll screw the cap up onto it and it'll lock it in position. So that's what we'll do now. So Maury centre drilled it. Okay, so that's the first plate and that's going to slot over there and what's nice is there's plenty of threads so we'll kind of do it one-handed yep there's plenty of threads to really nip up to that nice and tight obviously can't do it one-handed but that's going to be really firm in place so that's the bottom plate i'm going to do the same now to the uh, driven element plate which is going to be the top one and Again, I'm going to design it around this in that, I don't know if you can see it on camera, there's a little plastic collar there. So I'm hoping that if we can just get it the right size, it'll just sit up nicely to that plastic collar and it'll keep them uh, probably about an inch and a half apart, maybe just less than that. Okay, so they're the two aluminium plates, uh, nice and firm on. This one is, I got a lucky that I got a good fit on it. Um, I'm still, I'm still half tempted to oh, just let me grab something from here. still half tempted i've got some plastic to turn that down in fact i've probably got some thinner pieces and just put a couple of spaces screw in because you can tap this you know and just put a couple of spaces in so obviously right way around but screw it in just one at one side one at the other side much thinner only needs to be about seven eight mil and that would certainly hold them because even then i just felt that plate that top plate does move a little bit. And that's a really, that's as good a fit as I could get. Okay, so I'm just marking out um, for the top and bottom plate. And I actually have a rotary table that I could have used, but I'm uh, being a bit lazy. So I've just, just sort of cardboard cut out, done my markings on it, and then, uh, tap through the positions of each of those holes. So I'm just gonna drill and tap these now, uh, M6. So we'll go and do that. Okay, so I've machined uh, this little plate, obviously. The connector goes in that top one and will be screwed down with some M3. Uh, and then I've been thinking hard about how to attach this here and I've just gone for three M4 bolts, screwed down nice and tightly. Um, 
perhaps in retrospect now I should have had this longer so there's more contact with the aluminium on the aluminium plate because the bend is going to be here and I have although I have quite a few tools in my workshop I've never uh, got myself a metal bending tool so it's going to be over to the vice and I'm literally going to try and uh, bend this over in the vice so this could go terribly wrong okay so I got my piece bent up a little bit disappointed with that I'm going to have to invest in one one day it's just uh, quite a lot of money for the uh, amount of time I use it so I've hand bent it which is why there's a big radius on there because of course if I used a metal bending machine uh, or tool in the vice it had got a really nice crisp 90 degree bend on that either way anyway it will still do the job so that's going to bolt up there as we can see and then the uh, connector in the side okay so next step now i'm going to mark this plate up and in fact i'm going to mark both plates and i'm going to start doing the uh, thread holes around the outside just got the plastic spacer disc now that i'm going to turn down just chuck these up on the lathe and we're going to have a go at turning these roughly down to size now making the uh, pillars to spread the to spread the plates uh, and keep them uh, at a set distance apart certainly to stop the driven element uh, lifting as well okay so that's part it off get these tidied up and threaded and then we'll see how they go excited when i open this wire in that um it actually came in this nice little camo bag so this was off ebay um, and I think there's about a good few hundred metres in here of twin core and we actually only need one core at a time so uh, whatever the length, total length is we've got double that for the antenna and for the grounds so I'm going to start measuring this up now and uh, creating my uh, elements, my driven elements and then at the very end I'll start making some of the uh, earth uh, grounds Okay so they're my insulating spacers and they're uh, just acrylic um, threaded, taps and threaded and like I say even though I've got a really good fit on the end of the pole with that one bearing in mind that the elements are trying to pull it off, lifting it off so by just having a screw holding it to that bottom plate which is locked on with a thread at the bottom it's just going to stop it twisting and, and moving which I have heard, uh, not necessarily is a problem but it does happen with the uh, with the uh, DX Commander ha however I know that um, Calm tries to stop this by putting a uh, ring washer uh, sorry a ring clip, hose clip uh, above that top plate just to stop it doing that but hopefully this will uh, lock it a little bit tighter okay cheers Okay, so here we are with the uh, final build and I must admit the uh, last stages of it didn't really get documented properly just because uh, I was kind of busy doing it rather than uh, rather than actually putting the uh, video camera on so you can see the base plate nice and secure you can see that I use the um, pillars just to stop any wobble from that that top plate there it's totally fixed it's actually locked to the bottom plate I've checked continuity between the two and absolutely fine there uh, you see the driven elements all nice and straight uh, first dividing plate there that's the first dividing plate I uh, just put extra holes in there for the guide ropes going all the way up and you can see they're going to the finer ones and 40 meters goes right to the top and then back down again and I've also got one dangling down here actually which I'll pull out and that's going to be for 80 meters and at that point it's going to go off horizontally as an L but I've not actually finished that yet and it's just uh, dangling down okay uh, each one is on bungee cord so I don't know whether you can see the first one yeah I'll try and zoom in so there's the first one on bungee cord and you can see it just gives it a little bit of spring and that bungee cord there whoop, that bungee cord there is just attached to the top plate and it's just giving it a bit of tension okay um so that's the uh, that's the dx commander that i've built 
Uh, it's currently on a tripod held down by guide ropes. These are all the um, ground elements um, that are radial, sorry, um, going out that I need to straighten out and flatten out on the deck. Eventually this will be going on the grass, I'm hoping, and I'll bury these. But for now, that's what it's looking like. Okay, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and hope it was informative. Like I say, I uh, built this fairly fairly easily. If I hadn't had the uh, workshop, I could have uh, definitely used a um, sensor drill uh, to drill those, or a core drill, I should say, to drill those. And I think most, uh, all of the holes could have, I actually used the drill press, but all of those could have just been done with a manual drill. Um, so there was no necessity really for a, uh, for a drill. Uh, sorry for a lathe it was just helpful and to be honest if you couldn't get the right size uh, i was lucky with these two but with one of the top plastic pieces i just padded it out i went a bit oversized just padded it out with some a clamp and some uh, insulation tape okay thank you very much for watching oh you enjoyed it uh, massive shout out for cat to callum the dx commander uh, and his YouTube channel without his instructions, I wouldn't have been able to build this. And for those not want it, finding this video interesting, but not wanting to build uh, this antenna, like I say, he, he provides all these parts um, on his website for a very reasonable price. Thanks for watching. See you again.